um, J-O, female Joe, Joe. Um, who wanted to know what our long-term plans were, um, I guess, with the site or just with us in general. We want to get on a tour bus and go on tour. <laughs> And tour the that country. Would be so awesome. Again, we don't have a show and we're not performers, <laughs> but we can we can go on tour. Long term uh, goals for us, I think, is just to keep the site going. We our long term goal. I mean, if, if you asked us what we want to accomplish with the site, we just want um, we, we want people to be more aware. Yeah. That that you know, conservatives are not all white old dudes, mm-hmm. and um, you know, you're not alone. Yeah. If you're like us and you're out there, you're just you're not alone. I think that's our goal. I don't think that's ever going to change yeah. no matter what happens. But would we like a radio show? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Would we like to actually make, you know, $5 a year? That'd be great. Because I don't know if we've ever mentioned it in previous we videos, make, but we make no, no money. money. <laughs> I don't know if we, we may not have We probably that. never mentioned that in any of the videos that we've done. <laughs> we never talk about that ever. It's never it's never no. really brought we up. We do it because we love it, and we'll, we're going to continue to do it. And our goal for the site is just... Um, keep people aware of what's going on and to try to bring stuff to light that may not necessarily come to light in the mainstream media. And we're just two chicks talking about this stuff, yeah. you know? And I think that we build a community of people who are like-minded mm-hmm. and occasionally we get the liberal punk that wants to come in and throw, you know, a flaming bag of dog poo on our front doorstep. <laughs> and we get that and that's fine and we expect that's going to happen. But we we want to build a community of people that are like-minded that know that, you know, they're not alone. There's, mm-hmm. there's other people out there that are not crazy and... <laughs> And there's hope, you know, the real kind, not exactly. the kind that Obama <laughs> wanted to push in 2008. There's hope that, that, that you know, my kid is going to be able to live in a country like I lived in when I grew up. You know, yeah. there's hope for that. I'm not giving up on that yet. Yep. Um, Major Dog tweeted. tweeted. Major Dog tweets, which is awesome. He tweets. I don't he tweet. Tweets. <laughs> yeah, if you see us on Twitter. It's, it's always her. I don't even know how to do that. What is a hashtag? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, I am the She's tweeter. The tweeter. Twitter. Twi- Twitter. You're the Twitterer. I think it's tweeter. I think you're right. I think it's tweeter. Do so we, I, is there like a conjugation for that now? <laughs> like some sort of a verb? Twit, tweet. Oh, I could go into yeah, something. Don't, I won't even go there. Sorry. Don't stop. I stop. I stop. <laughs> I stop. But anyway, Major Dog tweeted us and asked if we could expand on why it is. That the Foo Fighters is the most kick-ass rock and roll band ever. And I think that's a question that should be directed yeah, to you. Yeah, because you're not really a Foo Fighters I fan. like the Foo Fighters. Yeah, I, I am, just am not like... I think I am their biggest fan. I think that's probably true. Their biggest conservative fan. They're yeah. uber liberal. And I always say that if I could get Dave Grohl in a room for like an hour, I could just talk some sense into yeah, him. Yeah, because that's what you'd be doing. Is talking <laughs> some sense into him. Sorry, Mr. Davey. <laughs> I, yeah, I love the Foo Fighters. They're just the, they're the greatest band right now because there's just not a lot of good rock and roll bands. And I am a rock and roll girl. And there's just you don't kick ass rock and roll is hard to find. You know, you got your wuss Nickelback rock. <laughs> you got you know your Britney Spears and like all these girls that I just want to punch in the face. <laughs> you know, and then you've got the Foo Fighters. And I was really glad to see they won a ton of Grammys because they deserve it because they are awesome. I mean, they are a real rock and roll band. I just love rock and roll, you know? I don't, you know what? It's an American institution. What I always think of when I watch them, because they're freaking amazing live too, but, and I'm always blown away by how he continues to have a voice after all the it's screaming. It's so funny because Mr. Daisy's always like, he screams all How the time. How does he do that? Did he, but he screams, sings. It's so hot. But, and it's hard. I mean, what he's doing is really, really difficult. I don't know, because I'm not a vocal. Like, I'm, I've never, oh my God. I don't I, I, it's, I don't know how he has... Vocal cords. Yes. Yeah. Because what he does, it's really kind of remarkable. He's awesome. But yeah. he was, a, you know, anyways, I could go on and on about Foo Fighters because <laughs> I love the Foo Fighters so much. I just love music. Mm-hmm. You know, I love all kinds of music, but I especially love rock and roll because there's just something American and... Which is another thing I think that sets awesome. us apart from the traditional conservative stereotype. I hate, and I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone out there, I hate country music. I hate it. Okay, I don't hate, all, I like Johnny Cash. Okay, well, I like old, old country. country. Right. I like old country. I like Old country Yeah, good. but the new stuff all sounds the same to me. 
It's like, I just don't like anything that twangs. If it's got twang, I am not interested. I, I used to like the Dix- the Dixie Chicks too. I did. I don't know. I, I think it's just because I'm from the South, and I, I love. Yeah. There's a part of me, and I went to Tennessee, and there's like a sort of a tiny little shred of bluegrass person in me that I like well, a little bit of different. that stuff. But um, and and then I then they started opening their mouths about politics, and I'm like, oh. God, really? But I, mean, mo- I mean, most country artists are typically conservative, which is, I think is why that tends to be associated yeah. with the GOP, but I am just not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm, you not, know, a, I'm I, not a fan of country music either. Like, I don't listen to country music on a regular basis. Yeah. But, like, when Miranda Lambert and her, who's her husband? Blake Shelton. Yes. When they sang um, uh, America, the America the Beautiful or, at the Super yeah. Bowl, it was awesome. I will See, say that. I just that thought was, it was too twangy. I thought it was, was beautiful. Like, I thought it was beautiful. I like that. I, I was, was more nice. into Kelly Clarkson. I was and like, her, oh my god, hers was awesome. Yeah, but, yeah. Just, but see that, yeah, that's the thing. But I mean, no, I'm not a country music person, so not all of us li- listen to country music. You no, know? we don't. But you know, I mean, I I have a lot of friends that listen to country music, and um, I accidentally am listening to Pitbull right now. <laughs> you are all into Pitbull. <laughs> no, it is ridiculous how much I like him. <laughs> It is kind of ridiculous. It really is. It's embarrassing. I mean, Mr. Mock is mortified. Really? Absolutely mortified. Like, I tried to play a song for him on the radio, and he was like, this is not music. It's not appropriate. He was absolutely mortified and just hates it. But I'm like, but this makes you shake your booty. I mean, this is what makes you want to get up and dance. And he was like, I don't dance. And I said, yeah, that's, he doesn't, what, that's, it why he doesn't that's dance. what it is. That's what it is. You don't shake your booty. In dance. I'm all about party music. I love fun party music. I, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. lately, I have been in that kind of mood. I've been but, in a party music mood. But back to back to Major Dog's question, though. I, yes. I love the Foo Fighters because it's it's real rock and roll. Yeah. And it's kind of like, I don't know. It's as American as apple pie. <laughs> it's real rock and roll. And so that is why they need to be conservatives. Exactly. Because and they need some they need some conversion. They do. Because I mean nobody can rock it like they can. I mean they just rock it. Yeah. And their their concerts are awesome and yeah, it's like a religious experience. It's really great. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just a rocker. I like rock. Yeah. 